Welcome to episode 192 of the official Game Stitch Podcast. I'm Ryan Walton. As always, I'm joined by Dan Reamer and Matt mm-hmm. Alden. Howdy ho! Hello, hello. Thanks for having us. The shirtless Ooh. wonder in the asshole. <clears throat> wow. I don't like that nickname. <laughs> what? I don't like it. The asshole? Yeah. yeah I Fitz. thought you might go with something better. What's what fitting? You give, it to- give it time. Let it soak in. Nah, I don't like it. It's Actually, more accurate all, than all, you think. All nicknames should be 95% truth, and I feel like that fits. But I don't like it. Well. Fun fact, most people don't like their nicknames. Yeah. Another fun fact, nobody gives a shit and calls you that anyway. I guess it could be worse. Asshole. It could, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. I mean, there are, there are a lot of nicknames that are way worse than that. Yeah. If my life had a slogan, that's what it would be. It could be worse. Like that, though. It could be worse. So, yeah. When it's, when it's so on the nose like that, like when people know what to expect. Well, because you don't leave them much to expect, so that's why the nickname reflects that. It's all right up front. You, you either get it or you don't. You're just like, hi, my name is Matt. I'm a whole bag of dicks. How are you today? I'm better than no, you and you smell funny. No, I think you could walk in and say, my name's Matt and I'm an asshole, and everybody would be like, all right, Matt. I like, think... <laughs> I mean, you guys have known me for a number of years. I think we can uh-huh. agree on this. You either like me pretty quickly or you don't like me for your entire life. Yep. I'd say that's it's... fair. There's, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no in-between. There's no being like... on the fence about, well, I want, this guy's okay sometimes. No. No. Yeah, you're... You, either get, you either get it or you don't. Yeah, you're always a dick. It's just if you can tolerate it or not. Speaking yeah. of tolerating dick... <laughs> You like I don't that? Know where this is going. <laughs> there is no segue. I just thought that that would be awesome if I could have that. If I could nail that. It would have been better if you could follow up, though. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, speaking of tolerating dick, that PlayStation meeting happened. It did. It did happen. And I got to think that it would be. It was just as unbearable as me tolerating dick. Yeah. Yeah. I think time. every. I, th- I think there's a pretty unanimous decision that that was a waste of everybody's time as far as watching it goes. So if, you, know what? if you've listened to these podcasts before, we usually talk about a lot of different things. We're going to keep this episode pretty much focused around the PlayStation meeting. Because it's about all that's happened this week, really. Yeah, there's a couple other stories, nothing major. I may touch on a couple of those later, uh, but, but mainly just the PlayStation stuff because that's what... That's what everybody was focused on. That's what everybody was hyped up for. That's what everybody's talking about definitely now. Did mm-hmm. they deliver or did they pull a Sean Murray on us? Well, here's the thing for me. You remember three years ago when Microsoft shit the bed on their announcement and Sony came out and just fucking rock starred it? Yep. What the fuck happened to those guys? Um, I'm seriously, it's, mean, it, it feels like... It's like... I've... Went to a Carnival Jethro Tull concert. Well, I mean, Andrew those, House was there. Those guys so. used to be good. What the fuck happened? I, I, think, I think, you know, I think they're still good. They just kind of... I think they... I think that they... They... I don't think they overhyped this, but I think that keeping it in secret for as long as they did allowed it to become more than it was in the eyes of the audience. Does that make sense? Like the... yeah. I get it. You know, it kind of derailed before it ever happened, just because they didn't. They well, didn't really give us anything except for, "Hey, go ahead and speculate." I mean, so. I mean, did you guys? Did you guys actually watch it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, watched I it. did too. Yeah. Um, but what I took away from it, uh, Sony's a corporation. The people that were up there on stage, um, I didn't feel a lot of confidence. I didn't feel like they had their head completely wrapped around what they were talking about. It was just very disjointed and boring. <coughs> In no way garnered the excitement like the like the PS3 announcement did. Um, PS4, yeah. Or PS4 announcement did. It was like a complete 180 from what that was. And, and that turned me mm-hmm. off a little bit because when they know a product and they're excited about a product... That shows. It showed in the PS4 reveal, and I didn't get that from this one, which makes me even less excited for the console than I was. I agree 100% with that. I, I think that they 
I think that they knew what they had, but they don't know how to. I think they under. I don't know how to explain this. I don't. It's. I think that the problem that that Sony had when delivering this news was how to make people excited about it. Right? Like how how are we gonna? Maybe we should get into the specifics of what was announced, but how are we gonna make people excited about a small? upgrade within the console life cycle like they're not trying to take the place of the playstation 5 they're not trying to reimagine the playstation 4 they're just trying to give those who want it a little bit more while they're while we're moving towards the playstation 5 so in that way i don't think that they i don't think that they missed the mark on what they were trying to do but i think that the way that they're trying to deliver it is a little heavy-handed i think they're trying to make it more than it is you know i think the conference reflects that it was a 45 55 minute con conference of what could have been said in about four or five minutes yeah ryan what's your take i think they definitely wanted to recreate the magic of the ps4 announcement well Uh, yeah me too i think I think they focused really hard on trying to recreate that magic, um, but they weren't showing off the same product. Um, I think hype hype worked against them, but I don't think it was their hype. I think this is a no, totally different. Wasn't. I think it's no. a totally different situation than No Man's Sky. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Sony didn't talk about the Neo at all. Right. Uh, so leading up to this, everything was leaks and speculation. So if it didn't deliver, it didn't deliver to something that you wanted, not something they said it was going to do. Um, it was boring. Uh, Mark Cerny is a genius. He He's is Doctor Manhattan, dude. He mm-hmm. is not good on the stage. Uh, he's one of those people that's smart, and I feel like it's hard for him to talk to people in a manner uh, which you want to hear because he knows that you're not as smart as him. Um, and he wanted to talk about a lot of stuff that, honestly, I don't think the people tuned in cared about. The uh, the guys at Giant Bomb they did a uh, reaction video or they did a live stream where they were kind of commenting on it. They said they expected him to just explode into a being of light at some point because he's so smart. He's so much smarter than everybody else. They expected him to just like dissolve into pure consciousness and float away. Uh, he, he's a super super intelligent guy, and everybody mm-hmm. in the industry says like he is hard to talk to. He is so fucking smart. And yeah, it's it's intimidating to listen to him speak about something so, because. You got people lined up to bash him, but just remember he's also the the lead architect of the PS4 that you love. Right. Um, That that you're playing now. So I I think the conference itself as a whole, I think it fell short. I think, you know, even our predictions, the closer we got, got a little more outlandish. Um, And this very much felt like a Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Uh, We definitely whiffed on that release date last week. And and I think it would have been smarter to do this as a Nintendo Direct versus this PlayStation meeting and flying people out to New York. They should have just released a video, um, and they could have got their talking points down. They could have edited it in a way that wasn't 40 minutes long, and I think that would have been a better way to do it. Uh, But before we talk anymore, let's jump into actually what was announced. Sure. In case you you didn't see it. Are you going to go through the list? Yeah. Um, Let's see. So, the PS uh, Slim was confirmed, which, you know, we we saw that coming. Which is just going to replace the PlayStation 4, right? So, they're not going to call it the Slim on Sony's end. They're just calling it the new PlayStation 4. It is just the PlayStation 4. It launches September 15th, um, and it is $299. Pre-order is available now. Uh, Comes with a new controller, the controller they showed off that we talked about. Um... It's a good-looking system. It is. I think you probably find some deals on the older systems now, on the current PS4 models, but I think this is a pretty slick-looking system. I think if I was going to get one for the first time, that I would probably go with this. They've announced bundles already. They have a Call of Duty bundle. Um, they have a uh, Uncharted 4 bundle. And they have one more bundle that I don't remember what it was. It's like a FIFA or NHL or something like that. So they've got bundles coming out already. Um, I think the PS4 will, will do good this holiday. I think it's smart to introduce the redesigned PS4 just to freshen it up at this point. Uh, but they spent almost no time on this system. I mean, what do you think? Five minutes tops? If that. Uh, 
Yeah, I think they just kind of glossed over the name, and then the rest of the information they released on it was kind of extra information as the show went on. They didn't really spend a lot of time focused on anything except for the pro. Well, it was also... There's, there was no reason for them to spend a lot of time on it. I mean, why should they spend a lot of time on a system that has literally been reviewed and had box openings done online before it was ever even announced? Right. You know, uh, I mean, so there was no yeah, reason was... for them to spend. They, they should have just, you know, what they. I think that what they did with the new PS4 was perfectly okay, just glossing over it because everybody already knew that stuff from all, that was interested already knew that stuff from the early leaks and early reviews and all that i think i think you're right and i think anytime you're trying to release something uh, you know you know in a one week's time from when you're announcing it people are going to know about it in this in this day uh so uh, this this wasn't a shock to anybody and i don't think sony cared that it wasn't because mm-hmm. i don't i don't think this was going to be a bigger part of the meeting even if, even if no one knew about it right uh so new accessories uh, the new controller obviously we talked about the light bar wraps up top a little more they have a redesigned PlayStation camera it does nothing different it's 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 now like a cylinder it's got a base that tilts up and down but the camera itself is the same uh, the internal workings they also announced a new headset you know about this headset I do not. No, I didn't hear about this headset. I don't know if this was announced here or after, but they had it. They they talked about it in this meeting. Uh, the new headset is a premium model, so it will be a expensive version of of Sony's headset. It's called the uh, uh, Platinum, I believe that's right. Let me make so sure. So it's an expensive oh. version of the Gold, uh, right? So it is a high end premium construction. Uh, it's called the Platinum Wireless Headset. It's $160. Um, and it just says that it has uh, premium construction uh, and materials of, for extra comfort, as well as enhanced highly positional 7.1 virtual surround sound powered by Sony Inter- Entertainment Inter- or Sony Interactive Entertainment's proprietary 3D audio technology. Well, that doesn't sound like it's anything different other than they changed the way they look. It is compatible with uh, PlayStation VR which all headsets that aren't crazy fat are. It looks... So, you guys know, I used the old PlayStation headset where they had the pull-out mic. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It looks like that. Okay. Yeah. Which I'm super pumped about because I have the gold and they're a piece of shit. I loved the ones with the pull-out mic. Yeah. I remember Anything you hating your gold. Really is pretty cool. Yeah, the pull-out game was strong on those. Yeah, I like uh, pulling out. It, they look good. They look nice. I'll probably pick these up just because I'm... I've about fucked those up, those old ones up. <laughs> so, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty ready for. They anyone. connect without a dongle. That was that's my problem with all the headsets so far. Is you have to have a proprietary dongle to eat, eat up one of your USB ports, where it should just connect wirelessly like the controllers do. I don't understand that. They may have a dongle. I don't know, but they do have a headphone jack in case you want to go straight to controller. <clears throat> yeah, but nah. I like to do that, and I just like to let the controller dangle while I walk around. That's dangerous. This is a good way to ruin your controller. <laughs> Maybe you, not me. Right. Uh, so the big announcement was the PlayStation Pro. PlayStation mm. 4 Pro, a.k.a. Neo, a.k.a. PS4K, a.k.a. the the new PS4 Extreme Edition, mm. Extreme HD, Home Edition. Extreme Home Edition, uh, Rebirth, Birth by Sleep, Wisdom Tree. What was that game's name? Uh, 365. No, not that one. 365 the, Thirds or something like that. The Wind That Blows and the Monsters That Live in It or whatever. That, it there's seems some like fucking... you reduce that fraction. Try to get it down to, you know, just a single number. No, you gotta I like, uh, As I like to call it, PS4 Revengeance. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. I like PS4 again. Uh, the PS4, comma, T-O-O. Yeah, so it's Still, the PS4 Pro. PS4. Uh, it looks like the GoPro Pro. Like the the font, it looks like the the Pro from GoPro a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's even in the box. Yeah, it's, it's very GoPro-y. Yeah. Um, so it's the PS4 Pro. It is what Sony is calling a high-end version of their existing hardware. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, Dan, let's let's just start with the name because I know that you need to get this out of your system. 
<laughs> so let's let's let you get it, get over this, and then we'll okay. continue the conversation. I don't like the name. We've had this discussion. I don't like it being called a PS4 Pro for one reason, uh, because I am a semi conspiracy theorist. And I do not like when corporations play mind games with their consumers. Mm. The PlayStation Pro, just by labeling that, automatically labels those without that system amateurs. Which makes those people feel like they are less than because they don't have the little bit that this system offers for $100 more. These are the same consumers who have already spent their money on the PS4 and helped make it the premier brand of console in the United States for the last three years. We're at hundred dollars more, mind you, when it oh, launched over the world. You know, how, you know how you can be become a pro? Spend a little more money. You don't have to be an amateur anymore. Yeah, I probably game, but I game enough to where that shouldn't matter. But that's what Sony is trying to make you believe matters through their little fucking wordplay and their their little mind <laughs> games. Fuck you, Sony. So we Suck talked about balls. this already. We talked about this already. Uh, I think they did draw a line in the sand. I think it was intentional. I think yeah, they want Dan to feel exactly like he feels right now. Um, and, and the, I, only thing on, it, the only thing he does for me is say, fuck you and your console, though. Yeah, and I'm on Dan's side on this, but they, they drew a line in the, in the sand. I agree with you. They, they did it intentionally. They want to separate the player base. Uh, but why? To, cre- These to create... Are- that holier than thou PC style master race on consoles, right? You that you have now you have the now you have the masses of gamers and now you have the upper echelon with the pro. You have the people who can turn their noses up and go, oh yeah, it looks better on my PS4 Pro. It's you know it's cool that you can play it, but it looks better over here at my house. Right. What they've done is Sony has created class warfare within their fan base. Well, I don't know if it's that extreme, and that pisses me got, off. Well, I told you I'm a conspiracy you know, theorist, so they're um, they're gonna they're gonna turn. Not, I'm sure there are a certain sector of console gamers who are already lean towards this, but in PC it's pretty prevalent. You, there there are the gamers who minimum spec their PC so they can enjoy the games, and then there are the guys who have like the nine thousand dollar rigs that play VR and 4K and all that stuff, and they you know they act like they're better than everybody else, and that's what you get here. Um, for better or worse, yeah, I don't have, know if it's the haves and yeah, the have-nots. It's just going to be annoying. It doesn't. It's. I don't think it's going to change the the my, the landscape of gaming. But it's going to be fucking annoying to have to deal with that now. Because now, not now, everybody's not on a technically even playing field. Right. right. The games are the same, but the little <coughs> bit of bump in the GPU that you get with the PS4 Pro allows for you know this is stuff that i've been talking about since they announced this you're going to get a little bit of a bump in what you can do with special effects like smoke and fire and water and you know uh, anything that's gpu intensive and you'll get a little bit of bump in things that are procedurally generated so like grass or uh you know flora and fauna and stuff like that um but that's going to be enough to have people turn their nose up right i mean for i've been you know, I used to be a Microsoft guy. You guys both know that. And I turned... I turned. Turned. I turned. No, I didn't get turned. I turned. I, I A Sony guy because Microsoft started doing this. They started playing these games. These, with these, the hard drives. With, with hard elite. drives and, and, and all this mm-hmm. stuff. And Sony, for so long, has been above that. And just said, look, here, we believe we're the best. Here's what we have. You're the consumers. You love it. You decide. And as a result, they they took the world by storm and just stomped all over Microsoft. Right. And now they've decided that to sink back down to that level, and that bothers me. Right. They put out one PS4. They didn't have a bunch of hard drive iterations. They didn't have anything nope. else, and now they do again. Right. They've complicated a... They've complicated their product in a way that it didn't need to be. They they, they tried to fix a problem that didn't exist, right? They mm-hmm. they're stirring the pot when it was already you know, it was already good to go. Right. They're, right. The stew you know, was people, done. They, yeah. People people are fine with what they had and they were right. successful and trending upwards still after three years and they've right. gone and kind of like thrown a monkey wrench into their own shit for no reason. 
Now, that's not to say I'm an idiot. I do realize why they did it. I understand that. I don't like it. I don't agree with it. I don't feel they had to stoop to that level because they were already ruling the world. Uh, you, my take on it was that they very easily could have called this, and, and I, I told you guys this, I would have no problem with it if they had called it the, the PS4K. Because the PS4K explains what it does and doesn't separate anybody. I mean, I don't think for a minute that they didn't have the exact conversation that we're having right now internally. Oh, right? yeah, they're smarter me than us. They're, you know, they're businessmen. They're, you know, some, yeah. some of the, yeah, the, the, you're talking about people whose intelligence blows us out of the water. I'm sure they had this exact same thought and they made a very calculated decision. Um, so I don't think this is going to blow up in their face in any way, but I think that no. they're. I, I think that if we could see the numbers that they're looking at, they're probably expecting about a three percent conversion in the existing player base, and probably to pick up an additional, I don't know, two to five percent in new consoles sold just in the PS4. I don't think they're looking to change what they have already. I think they're just, you know, the the people who wanna who wanna play that game of I'm better than you because of this, you know. Mm-hmm. Because I spent a dime more. That's that's all. And it's just, and, and it, when when you get down to what they announced at the conference, the console really doesn't do that much more than what well, the PS4 and why don't, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we roll through those before we start getting into that conversation? Ryan, you want to take um, us through those after you? Well, I mean, did you? You don't have a problem with the name. You understand it. I mean, I I don't think it's drawing the land. I mean, it might unintentionally draw a line in the sand with you but I don't think it's for you I think it's to draw a line in the sand with the people who haven't bought one yet I think it's to draw a line in the sand with the people who play competitively um, you know when when your grandmother goes to the store to get you a PS4 are they going to buy a regular one or a pro one you know they're, they're going to get those sales from that um, and, and the multiplayer is going to be different they have said it's up It's up to the developers to balance these games because everyone can play together and you're going to get better frame rate on the, the PS4 Pro. So your people who play Call of Duty and Battlefields and your first-person shooters and your Destinies, and your, they're going to need to upgrade if they want to play at that same level. Mm. I mean, it, it, it is what it they're is when it comes to that. I think, uh, yeah, frame rates don't matter that much. They do to people like that. Well, yeah, but it's it's... It's superstitious nonsense. It's, it's perception. Is, yeah, right. it's it's a hundred percent perception. It matters to them on a level that is completely superfluous. It technically doesn't matter. Absolutely not. But those, you're right. Those are the people who will buy it. So that's because the, they can say, hey, if I can get a dedicated sixty with no worries, that's what I want. Uh, whether it's stupid and unfounded, you know, that's a different conversation. So right. they did draw a line in the sand, but I, I think it. It's not to wrap you up in Dan. I think it's it's to go after a different market. Well, they got they wrap me up though. I don't think they're I'm, worried about that because you already have your PS4. I'm on the warpath. Stop the pipeline. Uh, but <laughs> you know, and the name is the name probably has a lot to do with with <laughs> with Apple's you know their iPad Pro. Yeah. I, I mean, the, people just know now that's that's the best iPad I can go buy. So you know, same thing. You can easily look at that and think PlayStation 4 Pro, that's the best one I can get. It'll probably come in some elegant box and it'll look great and it sh- it should look expensive when it's sitting on a shelf. I don't think it will. I think it's going to If it was me, it would come in a solid black box that just said PS4 Pro on the front. I think you might get that in gold. Solid black with with white, white. letters that say PS4 white. Pro, just the logo. Solid black, <coughs> white, and it looks like it's fucking expensive. Like it's the one that everyone wants. Yeah, uh, but I mean, I don't think the I don't. I mean, I so, think that's gonna wear off when you open it up and it's still a PS4 on the menu bar. Uh, well, if you don't have a PS4, that doesn't mean anything to you because you don't right. have it. That's one hundred percent true. So, so I don't, I don't think it's for. I think it's a terrible idea if you're wanting to upgrade to it. I don't, I don't think it makes a lot of sense with that. But if you are someone who was waiting for a PS4 or uh, are adding a second system for a hundred dollars more, I think you do this because if I could tell you, hey, you can make your PS4 better for a hundred bucks, I would do that today. Well, there's, yeah, but- there's 
Here's here's going to be my argument is the stipula- PS4 Slim's a better deal. I've got sti- yeah, I've I'm with I've got stipulations on that as well. In some cases you're right, Ryan. In other cases I think you're wrong. But we yeah, can, once we go over what it offers, we'll uh, we can cover that. Um. So one thing that they talked a lot about was HDR support. Uh, so HDR support is not limited to the PS4 Pro, though. It's going to come by way of a patch later this year, and it's going to come to all PS4. All PS4. So that kind of takes that right off the so, table as far as a reason. So the 4K streaming, uh, the 4 play game, 4K gameplay is going to be limited to the Pro, um, but the uh, the HDR will move over to both uh, consoles. Uh, the PS4 Pro also does not feature a 4K Blu-ray drive. Which is That's probably the reason that it's not named the PlayStation 4K. Yeah, uh, they can't name it that and not have a Blu-ray drive, 4K Blu-ray drive in it. But I think mm-hmm. this is one of those things, like backwards compatibility for me. You are bitching about something that most people will not ever use. Yeah, yeah, but okay. So here's what I'm looking at: is this is the answer to the Xbox One S, right? Right now, no, you're making it, it the please. answer. Yeah. No, well, I mean, to to it's, me, that's that's what we have. You know, Microsoft yeah, announced a new console. They release a new console that that but is 4K. Neither neither company has claimed they're in any kind of competition, though. Yeah, but I I think it's pretty obvious that this is the competition to that. Mm-hmm. I you know, you take the you've got the redesigned PlayStation 4, which just replaces the PlayStation 4, and I think that the PlayStation Pro is the that is the technological equivalent to the PlayStation or to the Xbox One S, um, except for it, uh, so one plays 4K Blu-rays and one does 1080p upscale to 4K and one doesn't do 4K Blu-rays and plays true 4K gaming. Um, I so I, to me this isn't a misstep. Like I just I like I see where Ryan's gonna go with with it not being a this isn't a. a a derogatory mark as far as how you're going to sell this to people, but in my, in my mind it is because they own the 4K Blu-ray format. Sony invented it. Why not just stick put it, it in, in there? there? Right. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. I know. You sold 45 million consoles. Fucking eat the cost and put it in the new system so that they so that people don't go. Well, I want to get into 4K Blu-ray, so I'm going to have to buy an Xbox One S, or I'm going to have to go buy a 4K Blu-ray player. That's 4K Blu-ray is something I'm more interested in than 4K gaming, because right. a 4K Blu-ray player is very expensive. And I, if I could buy a second PlayStation that has that capability, I, I would. That that's a sell point for me. And they didn't include it in this console for whatever reason. And uh, that that's the thing that rubs me the wrong way mm-hmm. more than anything else. That that rubs me the wrong way. And I know what you're gonna. Uh, I know what Ryan was alluding to, um, as far as. 4K streaming, but no 4K Blu-ray, because people don't people stream their movies now. Uh, most people do. Uh, I don't know the stats off the top of my head, uh, but I know that more people do that probably than do buy 4K. But I guarantee you that Ryan, you're singing a different song if they say we only do 4K streaming in we only do 4K games in streaming. We're not going to sell any 4K games. Mm-hmm. Physical. None of them going to work. I guarantee you're singing a different song. And that's another reason I don't like, because the only way that I watch movies that aren't free on Netflix is on my Blu-ray player in my PS4. Or on and- my PS3 or Blu-ray player, excuse me, in my in my room. Yeah. I don't I don't rent movies to stream. I like to have movies to watch again. Well, and what's you know what's their big platform for this console, right? It's you need a 4K HDR capable TV. Well, why would you buy a 4K HDR capable TV and not have 4K Blu-ray to go along with your 4K gaming experience and your 4K streaming experience? Even if you only watch, let's say, five movies a year in HD Blu-ray, right? Why would you want 4K Blu-ray? Why omit it when? Now, if somebody wants to adopt the 4K Blu-ray format, they want to change their collection over, you know, somebody that collects movies like like Dan and I do, you know, that you buy your favorite movies on every format whenever they come out so that you can watch them whenever you want to, why would you not include that for those people if the cost is 
something that you can absorb because of your profit margin, right? Or Not to mention, of, of, of it's, techno saying. it's technology you own. You'd think you would want to do everything you could to make that a sustainable technological advance. Right. I think they accidentally separated themselves here from their, from a market that they didn't think about. And maybe they did, you know, maybe they, maybe they said, Hey, we just, we don't care. Um, but I think that, I think maybe you or I would change our tune if it had 4k Blu-ray support, right? I think, I think we might be a little bit more receptive to this console if it were for that. And I think a lot of people feel that way. I, yeah. Um, I don't know that I would, uh, for this simple, and this is going back to what, uh, I was going to say before, Ryan, about what I was going to get into. Uh, if you don't have a PS4, this is the PS4 for you. If you have a 4K TV or we're planning on getting one. If you're the guy that has to scrape together $250 to get that 42-inch Dynex on, on sale at Walmart, d go with a Slim. This isn't the best deal for you. That hundred dollars more you're getting does not have you covered for. It's not worth it to me. Um, if you've already got that set up in in place, yeah, it's this is the it's simple. This is it's a no-brainer. But not only are you spending an extra hundred dollars on that gaming system, but if you don't have the setup for it, now you've got to go out and spend what I think the cheapest one I've seen is probably eight hundred bucks. Yeah, for a four K HDR. And yeah, yeah for a for a. And that's like for a 32 inch, so it's for for a smaller one. Uh, you know, th now you're getting into PC territory, so to speak. Um, which maybe that's what Sony's going for, but that's not what the console game is supposed to be. In my well, mind, that's not what, what what it is. Yeah, that's not what we're used to it being. I, I guess I think that's it maybe yeah. it's headed that way. Yeah, yeah. But um, and, and so that's where we disagree a little bit. Ryan is. If you already have that set up, yes, this is the one. If you don't and don't have plans to get it, stick with a Slim. Or find one of the deals on one of the originals. Because uh, they're probably going to be dropping in price. I, I just feel like <clears throat> if they, they put the, the 4K Blu-ray player in it, then it has to be, let's say, $50 more. Then everybody bitches about the price. You know, at the end of the day, everybody's going to complain about something either way. Andrew House came out and said, "We have the numbers. People don't people don't use the PS4 for that. They use it for streaming." There are people who maybe would change their mind. There are people who would change their mind if it was fifty dollars more, though. Like this society is built around people wanting more and people wanting status, and I think this system has for Sony was probably something that they thought about before the PS4 even launched. And it's something they worked on for a while now, and it, they couldn't back out of putting it out. I, I'm sure if they could do it all over again, they wouldn't even release this system because they didn't need it. But they didn't know where they would be when they first probably started planning this system. Um, so, you know, at this point, it's too much of a hit to not put it out. But I, I don't think if they could go back, they would even worry about this. This was probably more of a thought of them not knowing where they were going to, you know, crush Xbox when it came out. You know, this, this is probably a, in the pipe three years ago when the game was a little different I, I don't know I just I, I think a lot of people are spending a lot of time like don't get it you don't have to buy the phone that has you know right right more no. space than any other phone you don't have to buy the plus you don't have to like don't get it uh, but I've bought many a $60 games that suck ass so if you're telling me for just $40 more I can get a PlayStation that's even slightly better than the one I have the thing that I spend 30 hours with a week I'm going to go ahead and do it um but only because I was already buying another one. I mean, I, I just, you know. Right. Um, the only thing we're probably all on the same page about is that this should not be a, something that you trade in your PS4 now for. No. Right. Yeah. Now, Ryan, do you have a 4K setup at your house? Oh, well, I'm buying one anyways. Okay. I was already getting a new TV. Uh, okay. And, you know, I was going to buy the PS4 back when the Uncharted bundle came out uh, and decided to go ahead and wait for this. So, you know, if I wasn't already adding one, you know, but I'm getting it for VR... I already needed one to put in my living room because I can't do VR in the bedroom. Right. Um, I spend more time on my PS4 than I do any form of entertainment. 
So I do want the best one I can get. Uh, I don't care if it's $20 more, $30 more, $100 more. If it's better than what I have, I'm going to use it because I don't do those other things. I don't buy movies. I don't go to the movies. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Like the, That's my entertainment. So I want the best that I can get for me because the games are, are what I care about. You're right. It, it doesn't do Blu-rays, and it would bother me if the physical disc didn't do uh, 4K because it's a game machine. It wouldn't bother me if it didn't make toast, though. Like, it should do games first, so it would bother me if it didn't do something with games um, that I thought it could. Uh, but it doesn't bother me with movies because I'm not buying it to watch movies. I'm buying it to play games on. Yeah, I I agree. I just think that the the perception that people have now is that when you buy it as your second console or your first console, that the difference in what you see will be drastically different. And it won't, unfortunately. It won't be this huge difference. Now, it, you know, that's fine if you want to just buy whatever is labeled as the best, but expecting to see a better game just because you bought the PlayStation 4 Pro, I think that's misplaced. Well, uh, but I think Sony intended for that misinformation to get out. Right. I think that's, that's not, like, you're not going to see a, you're not going to, turn the game on <coughs> fucking wow like i didn't know playstation 4 could do this like if you've seen playstation 4 when you plug a playstation 4 pro in you're gonna go what the fuck this looks like playstation 4 well yeah here's and and i think it's unfortunate that um and i'm not sure that i'm sure sony looked at all of this but this console is gonna have to sell strictly on is gonna be strictly sold to through word of mouth uh, there's virtually no way to market this because unless you have a 4K setup or a 4K phone or a 4K TV or a 4K laptop, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. You can't see 4K unless it's in 4K. Yeah. So it's going to be strictly have to be sold, like Ryan said, to the to the people who want it, to the, to the status folks. And strictly through through word of mouth or people who are over to buddy's house and see it and decide to get one so here's one of my concerns with 4k when you when you say bring somebody over to take a look at it if you've ever gamed in 4k versus 1080p on pc one of the things that's very apparent when you take a game that wasn't intended to play in 4k but supports the resolution is that if they did not account for 4K play when they make their textures, right? If they don't make their textures large enough for 4K to to show to be crisp, if they don't make their textures to be crisp in 4K, when you take a 1080, it, when when you take a game that's in 1080 and you put it in 4K, the faults in the textures are apparent, and they are apparent from far away. Um, and they are apparent even more very close. It's it's very jarring to see that. Um, and they, they have anti-aliasing technologies and they have all these extra settings when it comes to, you know, games that are upscaled to 4K or games, games that weren't intended for 4K um, so that they... So that you try to hide the flaws by making... by, you know, widening the... you know, by basically focusing more... Um, so my my concern is that a game it's the the forward compatibility thing that they speak of um my concern is that you take a game like uncharted right uncharted may not have been built for 4k they will patch it so that it works in 4k but if it's not textured to be received in a in a resolution as high as 4k um it may be very apparent that you're playing a game that's not meant to be in 4k i guess is what i'm saying so this i don't know that i'm sure they've thought of this also and i'm sure there's something in the system that takes care of it but i I wonder if that will become an issue in the future as people start gaming this way i wonder if that that difference visually will actually detract from the experience if if you go oh i expect this to to look incredible i expect to have this new visual experience even if it's even if it's a minute one even if it's a little bit if i can tell anything i wonder if what you'll be able to tell is how flawed it is versus how good it's supposed to look 
It's also going to help. The, the PS4 Pro is also going to have better remote play capabilities and better um, share play capabilities. Uh, that's due to the processing power that it does have over the other. Because at the end of the day, I mean, whether it looks better or not, it, what's inside is is slightly better. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. you know, does that translate? We won't know until we get our hands on it, but it is slightly better. Uh, I'm so. just curious. Um, what, I want both of you guys' opinions on this, by the way. What do you think um, this change is going to do to developers as far um, as developing their games? I don't. I don't think. I don't think they care for it. Uh, the fact that he said we have twelve first-party games and what it what several third-party yeah. games is pretty concerning. <laughs> I mean, there's there's probably five to seven hundred games total for PS4 if you count everything in all the countries, right? Downloadable and physical, and to to use the term several, uh, yeah, it's, it's probably a con- underwhelming. It's probably concerning. Uh, yeah. You know, they claim that they make it easier for people who are small developers to still put stuff out. And, I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. And only only they know that and the developers know that. But I'd say they probably don't like it. You're going to have to go through cert twice. Right. Um, if you fail your, your PS4 Pro cert and you pass your other one, that game can't come out yet because it's got to come out with that, you know, with for that both, With the cert for both. Right. So, I, I, I mean, I, they probably don't like it. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I do think it's more of a... Uh, a smaller step than people are expecting, so I think that part's probably easier pill for them to swallow. Um, Matt said it a bunch, but it's kind of like running a PC game on max settings. Uh, so I don't think they have to build the game twice, but I certainly think that there's more that goes into it than they want to have to deal with. Okay. Yeah, I think what you may see is first first party marquee titles, right? Uncharted Four and things like that. Uh, Last of Us, maybe even maybe even a game like that. I think you're going to see support from Sony. F- first party studios um and some marquee titles i think really what you'll see is going forward after the october date and maybe even after the release date of the uh of the playstation 4 pro i think you'll see games that are they are built for 4k at that point going forward so when you scale them down to 1080p in the standard playstation 4 and the amateur playstation 4 um, i think you'll actually notice that they look better on that console because you're you have more texture information uh you get you're gonna get a little bit more detail because of 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 it being i don't know if i'm making if i'm making sense there but um all the texture detail from 4k i think when you when you for lack of a better term downscale to 1080p all that texture information still still there um so i think you may see an improvement across the board um after the october date um, on PlayStation 4 games just because they have to cater. I, I think if you cater to the, the PlayStation 4 Pro, um, all consoles will benefit, um, especially when you come to when it comes to certifications like Ryan was talking about. Um, if you have to certify for PlayStation 4 Pro and if you keep that in mind first, I think the PlayStation 4 certification is kind of a given. Um, that being said, I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, that's just a... A, a nice guess and a and a little bit of wishful thinking. Um, so we'll we'll see what actually happens after that October um, date for the or deadline for making sure that everything's PS4 Pro compatible. Okay, I'm just curious. What I mean, what are your thoughts? Yeah, what, um, yeah. I'm pretty much right there with you, Ryan. Uh, I think it puts. I think developers have a lot of pressure on them now as it is from publishers and things like that uh, and the general social media just the general public um, I don't know that added pressure is really beneficial to them I know it's probably not something they wanted um, and I don't know that it's going to be beneficial to what we see them uh, distribute and put out um, I, you're probably right Matt they're going to just shoot high and be safe low um you know sh- shoot for the shoot for the stars it's okay to stop at the moon kind of thing but uh th- that's going to that's more time more money more investment that has to go into it there are some developers that can't do that uh there may be some developers out there that that that, that don't want to i mean in the case of you know for so long uh EA and Bioware said they they weren't interested in in um, a Mass Effect remaster. Um, these people may not be interested. These just, uh, developers may not be interested in upscaling 
their their games that have already been released that they've gone past to make them capable on 4K. Uh, a time we won't know more until time obviously passes, but I I just think that maybe there's some added undue pressure that was probably not necessary, and they're probably not very happy about. <clears throat> so let's talk about the look a little bit. Looks like looks like uh, staircase. I like uh, so, so the, the, the PS4, uh, the new, I guess the PS, I hate the new PS4, it sounds like Nintendo made it, uh, but what was the slim and now replaces the base model? Uh, it, it looks like a, uh, PS4 with rounded edges. Uh, yeah, I'm not so hot on that one. I don't, uh, the controller, 100%, I said this last week, the controller should have been what launched with the PlayStation 4. The console, eh. Whatever. Um, I so, like tactile buttons, but I don't care about the rest of it. So it's it's flat. It does have the buttons on it. Uh, very simple looking. It, clearly, it's smaller. Yes. Uh, the the PS4 Pro. <coughs> it looks like your current PS4 with one more layer. Mm-hmm. I actually like the PS4 Pro. And it, it's also, is it not flat plastic everywhere? It doesn't have glossy plastic. There is no and, glossy uh, the um, color bar is is around the middle ridge instead of through the top. So I think the console looks great. And it does have actual tactile buttons also. Yeah, it, it's a great looking console. It looks like something that you would see in a, you know, in a sci-fi movie that's in a, like a computer mainframe setting yeah. somewhere. You know, like the kind of thing that they, you know, you hack into by running your fingers really across or really fast across the keyboard. Um, it looks like something like that. Um, so I think they they got they nailed the look. Uh, they just fucked up everywhere else. Yeah, I like the way it looks too. It looks like they added just slapped a layer on top. Means there's more. Means it's better. <laughs> the Pro Two comes out better have one more goddamn layer on top. <laughs> you go up. It's with just it. they just do layers forever. The PlayStation Five is like five layers. Oh, it's better. It's like a it turned into a razor blade. Yeah. The, like Mach more, 5, the PlayStation Mach 5. Yeah, the more means better. So, the, uh, I also like the look because I think the one thing that, that was clear after this conference is the system itself isn't going to segregate the community. Mm-hmm. If the community decides to, uh, that's on them. And, and they probably will if the name does, and that happens too. Uh, I get it, but the system itself isn't separating anybody. It looks like a PS4. It acts like a PS4. It's a PS4. Like it, people yeah. were worried they got all oh, two systems, you know, they're not really. This looks like an upgraded PS4. Yeah. It's it's a very small change. Mm-hmm. It looks like they got they put a body kit on it. Yeah. Mhm. It's just a little different, which I think is uh I think a significant, you know, if it's shaped like a ball and it was bright blue, you'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like floated. Yeah. Cuz then I might want it. Right. So I, I think it was a smart design. I think they nailed the look because I think that's what you want your slightly upgraded PS4 to look like is a slightly upgraded PS4. I think it's a very smart thing that you said there, Ryan, about the system itself not segregating anybody. Uh, I think you're spot on with that. Um, it looks, like you said, it looks like it added a layer. looks like razor blades. Uh, for me, it's a little jarring. It's probably because I look at my PS4 so much. Um, not that it's bad or or ugly i do like the design it's just different um but But uh, leading leading up to all this the talk was like we're gonna separate the gamers right right and i sony themselves other than that stupid name haven't and the system doesn't they're doing it by making you upgrade your your quote unquote your rig right you have to upgrade everything else around your PS4 to get the upgraded experience so you're talking about but but again I, I think components. that's 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 the person the consumer segregating I don't think they segregated uh, I think I this mean, is a very minimal upgrade well, it's just that it is a minimal upgrade but by definition the fact that it does 4k is a means for for segregation 
Sure. And I mean, I think I think something that Ryan always says that, that makes a lot of sense with the PlayStation 4 Pro, and I, I think he's spot on, especially in this instance, is more options is never bad. Right. 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 Giving people more options to buy what they specifically want is never bad, and if Sony can satisfy a market that somebody can't, it puts more money in their pocket, and if it gets more people playing games, then that's fantastic. Um, as long as people aren't misled into thinking that this is a... Something it's not. Something it's, yeah, as long as there's no, you know, like, yeah, as long as it's not all posturing and, you know, this, you know, this, this idea that it somehow is going to take gaming to the next level. And I do think, I do think it's very important to note that Sony was very, was very quick not to say this is better than the PS4. They, they, they've never said that. Uh, they've never insinuated that. Uh, and, in fact, they have said on numerous times that it, it is just a little bit of an upgrade. Um, yeah. Not in those exact words, but that's essentially what they've said. So I think that's very, very important that Sony recognizes what the system is and made sure that, that none of that was going to create... that they weren't the ones to create the dissension between the fan base. Um, yeah. And then they went and fucking named it the Pro. <laughs> you really hung up on that. I hate it. I hate it. I don't, I don't like the name either. I don't know what else they would have called it, though. I mean... Mm. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of a better name for it. I can't think of a worse name for it. So I can think of plenty of names that like like the PS4 dick bag. Yeah, Yeah. but I mean, would have been a worse name for it. I'd prefer something that that would have been considered. I'd prefer that name. But it doesn't matter. They call it this. They call it the PS4 Select, and Dan's like, "Well, goddamn it! Now I'm not selected." Like it's not going to matter what they call it. Like it's not. They call it the Plus. Well, I'm the minus. Like it's not going to matter. Like (laughs) I think the Plus made made more sense than anything else, right? Because it's just a little bit extra. The Plus makes sense, and it falls in line with like PlayStation Plus and that. That's exactly why they didn't name it that, though. Because because you would have called it the the PlayStation Plus. Like they have the Plus already. They don't want to. They don't want to muddy up their branding. Uh, I don't. I don't think Pro is as bad a name as everyone thinks it is. Only because I don't know what else you fucking call it. Call it the Lone Wolf. Yeah, yeah PS, that's terrible. PS4 don't Lone Wolf. Anything that. It's the only one you can have. You can't have other PS4s around. No multiplayer. Right. right. Is that what you're implying? Yeah. Dan wants a. Yeah. What if they did a single player? Like they did a single player only. It just has no online components. Okay. The only wire that comes out of the back of it's for the power. The power and, and, a, and a HDMI. That's the lone. Not wolf. even that. You can just okay. turn it on. I'd buy that in a fucking heartbeat. <clears throat> not you if they do that. If you just turn your wireless. Not if they call it the PlayStation. Port. Not if they call it the Pro Solo. You wouldn't. Couldn't buy Ooh, it the Pro. You'd, you'd the be Pro a, Solo. Yeah. That sounds like Han Solo's cousin. Pro Solo. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I don't think the name is, is terrible because I think you're hard pressed to find something better. Uh, the Neo makes no goddamn sense. So everybody who said they should have stuck with that, like, well, what the fuck? That makes yeah. no sense. It's just fucking cool. Yeah, it really, yeah. It's just cool. Is it, though? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Is it, though? It is. What did I just say? Yes, it's cool. Yeah, but you were still wrong, so that's why I asked you again. So here's what we haven't said, is what the official release date was, which we were all dead fucking wrong on. Yeah. Yeah, I, bl- I blew hard on this one. So I, I missed it by a mile and a half. November. You missed it. You missed it worse. No, I didn't. I said it in March. He said March. Oh, yeah, that's right. I said Christmas 2017. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so November 10th uh, this year. And it of will be $399. Year. That's fucking insane. So it's 400 bucks. Uh, I like think the price point's right on. Yeah. Uh, I would have... So... I don't hate the price point. I would. I think fifty dollars cheaper for this, fifty dollars cheaper for the slim would have been awesome. Uh, but like I said, like so for my three sixty, I bought two different hard drives to upgrade my hard drive size with the three sixty. Mm-hmm. No problem. You know, Matt, you spent what sixty dollars upgrading your hard drive here. Uh, yeah. If this to was a, a little, two terabytes. So. If this is a little cover that slid off and I slammed something inside my PS4 and it made it look slightly better, I'd pay a hundred bucks for that. So that's why I think the system makes sense for people who are jumping in now who plan to spend a lot of time with their PS4. That's uh, true. If, if you're not someone who's going to spend a lot of time, I would tell you to go buy the Slim. It's a cool-looking system. comes with a new controller. Uh, 
if they got bundles out, I, I, you don't need the Pro. Uh, but does if, the Pro not come with the new controller? It does. Oh, okay. Um, the new controller is going to be available the same time as the Slim. It's available in black, blue, and red. Uh, Hundred million dollars. It is sixty bucks, and it is just called the DualShock Four. That's too goddamn much. Um, so now they're they're just swapping out to the DualShock Four. Now they're not even going to correct. Gonna... Yeah, yeah, because the only the difference is that light bar. Like the old ones don't need right. to exist anymore. Right. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think I think basically what they did was reinvent their line. Their line is just two systems now. Uh, the PlayStation family is two systems, uh, one controller. I, I just think they did they did a really good job with the main thing that everybody thought was going to be the mm-hmm. issue that the system was going to separate people. That was all we talked about for four podcasts. And it doesn't yeah. at all. It's it's not a big enough difference to set to separate the fan base. Uh, Except they yeah. called it the pro. But I think, I, I, yeah, I think I so, expected more of a separation based on what people expected. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So Dan, what do you what do you call it then? You hate the pro name. What do you call it? I don't know. I don't like the pro. That's all. I'm, I just want something that doesn't draw a line in the sand. I told you. PlayStation Four Varsity. Yeah, everything is ignorant or draws varsity. the line in the sand, though. Everything. Like, I, I just don't... Hey, th- not if you put a 4K player in it and call it the I think PS4K. You, now, when I used built a different system, paint it blue and call it the PS4 blue. Like, that's not right, what it I is. Mean, it, uh, if you call it the PS4K, you've drawn a line in the sand between standard users and 4K users. Sure. And now people who don't have 4K TVs think they shouldn't buy the PlayStation 4 Pro. Okay, it only works on 4K. very different between pro and amateur. Does it only work on 4K TVs? Can I not buy it since I don't have 4K TV? Right, so you, uh, the name is. I understand it's a me thing, assholes. Okay, I, I understand that, but I will continue to. But you are not a pro. I You're a pro at eating bacon eaters. I will be November tenth. You won't be true. a pro. You'll have a pro. But, I'll be a pro. Oh Jesus Christ! You're you know one what of I those hope people. it says? I hope it's a, I hope it's a black box. Is that one of the old oh, Captain Crunch Hold makes on. me stronger? I hope it's a black box. <laughs> I like Captain Crunch. Uh, I hope it's a black box in white letters that says PS4 Pro. And underneath it says, I hope it says game like a pro. Uh, Because I'll send you a picture of it every day. Okay. Just to remind you that you're a fucking shirtless amateur. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I still have have this physique. Don't make me show you. The dad bod? Oh, the fucking Greek bod. (laughs) This is getting weird I'm a a Spartacus extra, bitches. No, you're not. Oh, I sure am. No. The animated series? (laughs) Is there an animated series? No, that'd be pretty good though, wouldn't it? I would be in I would watch yeah. that. I would be in I'd that too. I'd, I'd totally watch that. I don't want like a legit one though. I want like a I don't like want an like an adult swim. Like I want like a no like I want an archer? like a Nickelodeon. <laughs> or like, like, like Spartacus babies? Yeah, kitty it up. Yeah, kitty it up. <laughs> like no one getting hurt but like epic e- epic like toddler battles. <laughs> I think that seems okay. And then I call could it watch Spart- that, yeah. Yeah, it caught like a uh, Spartacus Pro. <laughs> that doesn't Something even make like sense. That. that doesn't even make sense. Doesn't have to. I mean, you got to you got to draw a line in the it sand. Makes no sense. <laughs> if there's if there's one thing I know about business, it's that you have to draw a line in the sand. If there's not lines in the sand, you're not doing business. To be right. fair, one of the seasons was blood in the sand. So yeah, they get season, it. I can't season three. Down. Season three. You want to put the kid gloves on it and call the PS4 kind of like the one you got. I will stomp bitches. That way, we don't PS4. Say. Everybody gets a trophy. Yeah. I will stomp yeah. bitches. I will run you through the, the PS4 I will participation run you through. trophy. <laughs> I will, oh no! I will take that fucking PS4 Pro and I will stab it into your top of your fucking skull, and I'll have three corners to pick from. The PS4 Sounds Dan a lot like socialism to me, Dan. As the PS4 just to, Dan, you're, fucking, you're not an amateur. <laughs> All right, I'm. I'm. I'm t- you're off my friends list. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter because you have a pro, so you'll have new friends, and they're all pros. Yeah, I'm only, I'm I'm only going to game without yeah, I get pros. <laughs> I get it. Right? You have pro gamer uh-huh. friends. Yeah. That's right. I do. Only your pro be gamer friends. I'm going to be better at you than everything on November 10th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just because. Well, I'm a pro now. Mm-hmm. I wasn't before, but now I can game like a pro. All mm-hmm. right. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, the other one, PlayStation 4 Casual. Here's my well, question. That's what Dan- that's what Dan has. Can we move on? The PS4 Casual Gamer. Uh, the one thing I can't believe Dan hasn't already brought up is that they showed off Mass Effect stuff. They did. I'm going to get to that. First, first time first we've co- seen real gameplay. 
Uh huh. It's true. Talk about it now. Don't worry about what you're trying to do. It was fucking. Well, it was Mass Effect. It was fucking amazing. Talk about it. Fucking okay. The, the main char- there's the two main characters you can choose from. I love that they've done this. Uh, are now going to be are both going to be canonical because they are both their brother and sister. So whichever one you don't play as is still in the game. In what capacity we don't know. The teaser that they showed way back at E3 two years ago. Sure, two years ago. That is the father of the two siblings. So the gameplay looked great. Uh, very, it's Mass Effect. It looked gorgeous. Uh, I'm sure it looks good in 4K. I don't know because I just have a regular HD phone, so uh, it just looked like HD to me. But I am still super pumped about. You know, they didn't show off any combat. It's the only thing I didn't like. They didn't show off any combat. They showed you walking through uh, the heart of the vault, and you saw some enemies, but apparently if you sneak or are quiet, they don't see you because they're flying aliens. They showed uh, only one of the uh, sidekicks, sidekick characters. Uh, she appeared to be in a sari of some sort. Uh, super, I'm... I'm still on board for this game. You guys know that. Yeah, I'd be more interested if it were like Star Trek the game, but whatever. Funny you should mention that Star Trek. It's 50 years old today. Yeah, today is the 50 year anniversary of the first episode. That has nothing to do with gaming, but the PS, but the the Star Trek Online is coming to PS4. Yeah, yes, it is. And Xbox One. And Xbox One. Yeah. So that's I the thing. Probably won't play that. I definitely won't play that. I love Star Trek. Ricky loves Star it Trek sounds, too, so we're probably it sounds terrible. Uh, now, are you one of those guys that that like that has to decide between Star Trek or Star Wars? Or no. Can you like them both? No, Star Wars is okay. number one forever and always, no matter what. Okay. Uh, and okay. when it comes to Star Trek, we love Janeway here. Uh, uh, Catherine Janeway is my fucking Catherine jam. Catherine Janeway. Uh, that was Voyager? Voyager. Voyager. Um, and I'm a big... I, I like J.T. Kirk... Um, because I think it's hard not to. But Janeway, all Janeway. Day. If if Janeway. I if I can't sleep, I turn on an Isn't episode Jane? of Voyager. The the opening monologue by Janeway puts me to sleep every time. Isn't Janeway played by the same person who plays Red in Orange Is the New Black? Mm, yes. Yep. Just like thirty years ago, I believe. No, nah, that's yeah, not right. I know. Is that right? That's not right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Look it up. I'm going to. IMDb that shit. Look it up right now. While you're doing that, I'll direct this question to Ryan. Are you listening? Loud I can clear. see you. I can see you not listening. You I can do playing. two things at once. Answer your fu- ask no, a you, question. No, you can't. I've met you. Um, after this uh, announcement, uh, what do you think happened... <laughs> In the room where all the Microsoft executives were packed around the table watching. Funny you should ask. <laughs> uh, oh, you're Phil right. Phil Spencer. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Red is Janeway. Sorry. Phil Spencer said on Twitter, I always think it's great when game companies have events and, an- and announces. That doesn't seem right, but that's what it says. <laughs> uh, Obviously not as smart as Mark Cerny. <laughs> look, I don't know if that's wrong with the story or if that's wrong in the tweet, but it says, I always think it's great when game companies have events and announces. So you do what you want with that, but that's not me. Uh, and then it continues, they did a nice job, uh, but I'm very happy with our plans. So to answer your question, they don't care. Like, all of these things have been happening. The reason they didn't show off the Scorpio is because the Scorpio is probably not a thing yet. Uh, the Xbox One S has been a thing for a while now. Like, it, it, like, I don't think it's as reactionary as we want it to be with these companies. I think they have to start so lo- so far in advance to plan these things. Like, uh, Microsoft probably says, okay, great, but they're still fucking sold half as many Xbox Ones as PS4. Right. Um... 
It took. But do the, you think took, uh, in my head are they thinking once the the uh, the new Xbox came out? I can't remember what's called now. Fuck. Scorpio. 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 Once Scorpio comes out, they might be able to get some of that market share back because they've got a better product than the Pro. Probably, but I, I think it's less of a competition than everybody wants to make it. Well, we've talked about that before. I do too. They don't care if you buy a PS4; just buy an Xbox. Also, like they don't care. Um, the The fact of the matter is, both these systems are outpacing the previous generation. Right. Um, by a pretty a pretty good margin. Like these these companies are making money off of these. Um, do they giggle slightly when one of them makes a misstep? Probably. But I don't think it's like... It, it's not the old school console wars that Nintendo and, and Sega had, and it probably won't ever be that again. Uh, these systems coexist, and I think they coexist pretty well. They're very different. They coexist for you, I know. You'd have a fun yeah. time with both. They're they're very different. And, and even the Wii U, like... They're all different. Like, they they are all have their, their pros. They all have their cons. Uh, the, the PlayStation's probably always going to be my number one system, but... I would hate to think that there's a world where I'm limited to only being able to have one. Uh, I, I like having those options, and I I play great games on all consoles. I play great games on, on my my phone. I play great games everywhere, and I think it's probably the best time to play video games right now. Uh, there there's something for everybody. It doesn't matter what you're into. There is a game for you. Uh, so I I just don't think. I certainly believe that the Scorpio is a reaction to how this this generation has gone for Microsoft, but I don't think the One S was. I don't think this the PlayStation Pro is like these were just thoughts way before it ideas know, they already was actually had. happening. Yeah. Probably, yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can't come up with this idea and develop it in six months. There's the planning goes into it, development right. time, manufacturing. I mean, yeah, this was this was a thing three. Probably even before that. Probably even before they announced the PS4, they had this plan in mind. Yeah, I, I, I believe that. And I believe there was so much R and D dumped into this that they had to release it. And I think, like and I they, said, if if they know, if they had a crystal ball and could see how it was going to go, they would have never made this system because they didn't. Probably need to. right. But now but, they had to release it, and they and they had to release it release it in this window. Because so what do you do? That you, was their you plan. Make it, what do you do? You make it the uppity model. You let people who want to spend the money, who can spend the money, get it. And and you and you don't. They're not sending it out to die. I think they probably have pretty low projections for it, right? Uh, because I, I don't think I think it was designed to do something they don't have to do. So in a way, it is sort of an unforced error. But I don't think it's going to cost them. <clears throat> I don't think Sony's going to lose money on this, um, and I certainly don't think it's going to slow down sales for anybody. Uh, now they do need a, they do need some sort of answer to the Scorpio, uh, but Microsoft has never said the Scorpio isn't just the next Xbox. Right. That's backwards compatible with Xbox One. No one has said that. Like, who knows what that is? That would be my said, exact hypothesis that the Scorpio is the next Xbox. That's what I would think because that's the same. It'll be at that time. It'll be what four years, five years? Yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. four years, I, and that's exactly what it was between uh, PS2, PS3. Yeah, and I would suspect that we hear about the PlayStation Five or Xbox, the same time. Xbox One. So, so four years is also the gap between the original Xbox and the 360. Mm-hmm. We we got a couple long gaps uh, when the economy was pretty shitty, uh, when people didn't have money, when the government was having to give people money to get them to actually buy something. So there were some long periods, but I don't think that's the norm. I don't think I don't think you're going to see eight to ten years with systems. I don't think that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> I think these gra- get I think smaller your graphical and jumps are too much now. You know what, though? I, I'm getting a little tired of people putting all the focus on graphics. Like, there's Me just too, a lot of but, shitty games that come out nowadays. Yeah, I mean, but that's, uh, how many hours but we... the, the problem is, is that's the, that's the gauge for a lot of people. Yeah, and you, but, I mean... It is what it is. I mean, do I agree with it? No. Ryan, you don't agree with it. Matt? No. I don't think you agree with it either, but for a lot of people, that's what it is. Right, that's, for, for, that's the factor. For a lot of people, Uncharted 4 looking great matters, but for I think for those same people like Downwell and Rocket League and Hyperlight Drifter and Video Ball and Towerfall Defense, I think that mm-hmm. the, the games that don't... The game play is, is always going to matter the most, right? Let's look at the order. Brilliant game but because it was a half an hour long fucking sucked right the game play wasn't there so there no you're wrong there i think there is i will debate that all day that game was not given a fair shot there is i think there is a threshold where graphics matter right but once you hit that 
once you hit that threshold, if the gameplay is not there, nobody cares about it. So you get you get a little bit, you know, you get gameplay and graphics, and then graphics kind of stop, and gameplay has to carry on. Um, and I think gaming's always been that way. And I think gaming will always be that way. Um, I- That's true, but I also think you're much more apt to find people who buy a game for graphics and later on bitch about the gameplay as opposed to buy a game for the gameplay and later on bitch about the graphics. Sure, yeah, I mean, 100%. But I, I think more interestingly is with all this horsepower now in a console, what, what are we able to do, right? Now we're able to have VR, but how? Like, what could we use this to... How, how could this be used to fundamentally change games? Um, so we will always have Call of Duty and... RPGs like I Am Setsuna, and we will always have uh, retro games like Hotline Miami, and now we're going to get VR games that change the experience, whether they change the gameplay or not. So, what about if... When do... I, I guess, where's the point in the future where games have to fundamentally change to warrant the the upgrade that comes every four or five years. Um, I think PlayStation VR is a great example of the technology finally warranting being as powerful as it is. Um, and so I'm interested to see how long it takes us to get to the next step. Um, I don't, I, you know, I don't think it's necessary, but I think, I think that's, I think people are, would be more interested in gaming if it did, if, if that were the direction it took versus, Oh man, Call of Duty looks great this year. Looks great this year. Everything looks good. Looks good, but I mean, you you could have played the same game on a DualShock Two on a PS2, you know? Because um, you know, if you took all the graphics away, is it still fun? Then does it really need to be a PlayStation Four game? You you know, it's like Super Mario Three is one of my favorite games of all time. Mm-hmm. The game doesn't look good. I mean, it looks fine, yeah. but it doesn't graphically. It's it's not a it's not a powerhouse. Yeah, it's like thirty two by thirty two right. pixel sprites. Right, but but that gameplay is fucking incredible. That gameplay is something that six thousand games that have come out since tried to replicate. Right. There's a lot of focus put on graphics and and just dumb shit that doesn't you know part you know just I don't know. I hear people constantly say you know this it doesn't look good. Like you're basing that totally off of looks. Yeah. Right. I don't play games for looks. Right. I, mean, I don't how either. Hundred, how many hundreds of hours have we put into uh, uh, Rocket League? Mm-hmm. Rocket League looks okay. Right. Rocket League does not look amazing. It doesn't need to because yeah. it fucking plays great. Rocket League could play on your uh, cell phone. <laughs> no, no, I can't even play on a Wii U. But it could play. It, on it your doesn't. Phone. No, it couldn't. Not not at the way that it does. No, not like it does now. But it doesn't have to. Like that game right. is, is it, right. what makes that game so good is, is how it plays, how it right. feels. But uh, that yeah. that attitude is also the minority. But but I think that's crazy. I think I think you forgot why you're playing games. Oh, I I hey, Preach of the choir, man. I'm I'm with you. But I'll, I'll take a game that doesn't look as great that plays like Mario Three <laughs> over something that that looks like. Whatever Sony's next game that comes out over over Days Gone, like I'll take a game that's Mario Three that plays like Mario Three than something that plays like shit. I don't know that Days Gone will play like shit, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but I'm, I yeah, mean, no, if, I do. If you're looking at the metrics, and we all used to work at GameStop, what are the games that sell the most? It's Call of Duty, it's Madden, it's NBA 2K, it's that that that's what people come in and buy. That's those are the people that make the majority of of quote unquote gamers now, right? That's that's who support the market so that the rest of us can have an, a real gaming experience where graphics I, don't have to matter. I wouldn't say those aren't real gaming experience. I would just say that they're different gaming experiences and they're not for us. Well, a non- I would actually say that that's less true now yeah. than when we yeah. were working at GameStop. There, there, there are a lot of people who play a lot of different games now. Uh, and, I, and I think that gets better every year because, like, you know, like I said earlier, like now is really a fucking awesome time to be playing video games. Uh, you know, if you like to read your video games, you can do that. If you like a walking simulator, those exist. If you want to play a fucking goat, you can. Like those those experiences weren't here 20 years ago. Right. There's there's a, a number. You're absolutely correct. This is this is a great time. I would love to be. I'm curious what would be what my 
seven-year-old self would be doing right now. You'd be shitting your pants. I'd be like, what in the... You'd have pants full of shit. I would. It'd be... And it's... And that's not to say my experiences were great for what they were. Um, But they were nothing compared to what kids are running into now. Um, The bar's bar's higher now, though. The bar's a lot higher. You're right. Uh, It's just... It's... It's amazing to me. It's a, it's beautiful, right? It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. You're right. That's yeah. exactly the word I'm looking for. Now I'll tell you what what's pissing me off. Sure. I've seen on Twitter. I've seen a, a ton of people who are saying Sony played it safe. <sighs> they have a goddamn virtual reality set coming out in October. Right. Right. How many risks do you want them to take before they have to file bankruptcy? Like they they can't try at all. Uh, and I don't know. <laughs> It's like we've talked about. They they had this in the pipeline for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, and where they're at now, this didn't. Re- this doesn't require any risk. VR is a huge risk. Though. That's a huge risk. A but the PS4, risk. but the Pro, there's 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 nothing for them to risk. And as far as bringing it out to the world, developing it or showing it, their, you know, their their conference. All I had to do was come out and say, you know, we can, I complained about them, you guys, you know, they were they were boring, they didn't seem confident, whatever. They didn't have to be. That's not what this showcase was. This showcase was simply to say, here's this. Right. Here's what I, it does. I've seen a ton of people saying they played it safe, and I'm like, not only are they trying to launch something that a lot of people don't understand, but they have the weight of the entire VR community on their shoulders because hey, this is everyone's answer to VR for the mainstream. Right. The Vive, the Oculus, they they made minor <coughs> splashes when they came out. Nobody <coughs> talks about them anymore. Right. People expect this to be the way that people get VR in their hands and on their head for the first time. Uh, so there's a huge amount of pressure on Sony. So did they treat this with the care that they probably could have? No. But does it matter? No. Because their focus is on moving forward. They're moving forward with right. two systems and a VR headset. Like that's right. Yeah, they're uh, they're not worried about climbing down this little this little hill because yeah. they got a cliff coming up. Yeah, you, you don't you don't like the Pro? Then don't buy it. Buy the regular PS4. We don't care as long as you're buying one of them. Uh, if you if you want to buy a VR, buy it. it. Works on either one of them. Like I think their ecosystem is is okay. I don't think they take a hit from this. I don't think. I, I think Sony has has learned enough lessons over the years. Uh, to understand that this is probably a slight misstep, but it's more of a sidestep than it is a step back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's a plan that they simply had money and time invested in that they had to follow through with. Yeah, is, they had to execute. Is what, I, I, yeah. yeah it, it took the entire generation for PS3 to catch up to 360. Yep. I'm certain their projections were not that they were going to run away this time. <laughs> so, so things do have to be altered and... Uh, I, there's a lot of smart people at all these companies who 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 understand a lot more than we do. But but I think at the end of the day, if you've got a pocket full of money and a 4K TV and you want one of these, you shouldn't you shouldn't feel bad about going to get one. It doesn't make you an idiot. It doesn't make you a fanboy. You, you know, if you want something, you want it. Like I said, I spend more time on my PS4 than I do any any other it inter- does, form of entertainment. It, it does make you a pro, though. It will make you a pro. You could have been totally terrible at a game. Like, I suck at stealth games, but I know the day I get this, I'll be better at them. That's right. It's right, first thing it's right on the box. First, first thing you're going to do is go out and buy Stealth Incorporated. What's well, I have that in my library, I think. Wasn't that free? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so I can play that now. And I'll you automatically could. be better at it than yeah, I Yeah, but you'll before. be better at it once you get the pro out. Yeah. Once you, you get game pro. like a pro. Right. Pro. Yeah. I'll be better. I know. <laughs> at, every, at everything. It's going to make me better at work better driver right you're gonna straight up be better at life my friend yeah it's a better you <laughs> that's the slogan maybe that's right a, there maybe that should have been we use slogan <laughs> it's a better you makes it's you a better, a better you. you it's a better you what's the nx gonna be called uh the nx nope <laughs> you got a guess know. dan uh, no you make know, it better than matt's but we, I, I don't know. We, you too. Nah, it won't be called a we. It's a better you. No. The NX could simply be Nintendo X. 
And so it would still be the NX, but it won't be just the NX. It'll be the X. They'll tell you what it means. X is going to give it to you. They'll tell you what it means. Nintendo X. Well, it'll be, it'll be like cross Nintendo because they're crossing their two platforms. Uh. But I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I, that that announcement is probably the most exciting thing coming though, for me. Like I'm ready yeah, to see what the fuck that I'll thing is. I'll be interesting is. to see what it is. I want to know what it is. That's the, I just want my curiosity sated. It, it 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 very much appears that it is a tablet with a controller on each side. Mm-hmm. Some way hooks to your TV, or you can carry it around. Right. I, I don't. I don't know. That sounds okay to me. It looks like an NES controller when you snap it off. So if you're telling me that you can sell me an option for two hundred bucks that I can take to work hypothetically put on my desk and play Mario 3 for 7 to 8 hours hypothetically I'm in I want that give me all the old Nintendo shit from all the way back give me the full virtual console give me all the mobile games coming out and give me the stuff that you make for it going forward and make it cheap and I I think they're back in the game I think that's a fair assessment I think Dan bought his first Nintendo in, in several years. But the key is going to be bringing all that mobile stuff from the past on board. I think that'll yeah. be the key. You know, they just announced that they're pushing back Animal Crossing and uh, Fire Emblem, mo- the mobile games that were coming out. I'm I'm really feeling like all this mobile stuff is going to work on the NX. The NX is going to play all these mobile games. They they were at they were at Apple's keynote. For, they were. That's for right. The release of their their new uh, their new iPhone announcement. They were there. Like this is a big part of the new Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Um, they sold the Mariners. They got some money from that. Like n- new Nintendo might be real smart. It could be. Well, we'll see. But I, I just mi- think um, uh, the virtual console, all that library from the the. the Game Boy and the 3DS and all that. I think that that's key to the success of that platform as we're imagining it. I hope so. And hype's going to be a big factor into this because everyone's been talking about it forever. But It's also one of the reasons... But you don't see any speculation on it like you did with the Sony stuff. Um, well, I don't know. It's out there. It's just not. there's not as many people talking about it because people have lost a lot of faith in Nintendo. All right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, but, you know, Nintendo's not in trouble like people want them to be. No, they... They're okay. Uh, yeah, they're... they're they have sold a, a stupid amount of Amiibo. Yeah. Like a dumb amount. Uh, the 3DS sales are strong. Everybody in Japan still playing 3DS. Fuck. The, the Wii U has been a failure. So was the GameCube. Mm-hmm. And they came back with the Wii. Which fucking, for some reason, set the world on fire. <laughs> Wasn't powerful, didn't look good. Pretty much was a novelty that wore off after a week. Um, but, you know, they did it. They made a fortune off of it. Yeah. And I, I just think it's too soon to count them out. I could... Uh, okay. I'm, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll reserve judgment. Uh, but I think if done right, yes, Nintendo could, just could end up back on the board. Commit to buying one right now. No. Put your money where your mouth is. No, no. Commit to buying one. Nope. Not happening. Uh, my friend. I, th- I think just commit. Go all in. No. You need one. No, I do not. Not yet. Uh, I don't have enough information. Pokemon Go is finally getting that armband, that friendship bracelet. I saw that. It's going head to head with the PlayStation Slim, I think. You're all in for that, huh? No, I don't think so. I don't really play it anymore. No, just don't think of it or not into it anymore. Or uh, I couldn't is, find is it... anything anymore. No, okay, like it's everything here I already had. Okay, well, I just had everything that was here. Okay, yeah, that's fair. So I'm kind of out on that, but I'm glad this bracelet's coming out for people who are still playing it. Uh, I'm I'm glad I'm not still playing it because I don't wear bracelets. You didn't play it. I did. You never tried it. You never gave it a fair I did shake. try it. Don't give me that uh, shit. I did try it. It wasn't for me. 
Let us know what you think of the PlayStation Pro, the PlayStation Slim, the new PlayStation, uh, any of the accessories they showed off, the, your NX thoughts. Hit us up on Twitter at Game underscore Stitch. Um, we did ask a question. We're on a short week this week when we're recording, uh, so that question is going to carry over. We'll tweet it out again sometime midweek um, just Wednesday. to let you guys know. Uh, we'll say get some we'll answers into us. We love the participation. We do. We love you guys. But you gotta let us know. This will be a good Whoa. podcast for that question because we're. I think the question is, uh, what do you think? Is it? Are you getting a PlayStation Four Pro? I don't remember what question I asked. Holy crap! Well, you can find it on our Twitter at game underscore stitch. Smack that follow button while you're over yeah. there. Use the Boom. if you just check the hashtag GSPQ, uh, it'll be the most recent. Get her done. Yeah. Yeah. So. I know this was a little different podcast, but we had a lot of thoughts on this, and uh, we wanted to get them while it was still fresh in our noodles. So we uh-huh. did record this a little early. If anything breaks over the, la- the next couple of days, that's uh, that's our bad. Be on the Twitter. Follow us on Twitter, because yeah, be, that's where that news will hit. Be on the, the tweeter. Um, Matt will be over there. Sometimes Dan. Yeah. I like come in real quick and say one thing and dip back out. Uh, but they're on there sometimes, so you can I follow ch- them. Ch- I'm on there constantly. I ch- <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I'm definitely the weak link there, and I'm going to keep it that way because I like consistency. Yeah. Okay. It's time for my favorite segment, our newest segment, Gone But Not Forgotten. This week it's Dan. It is me. And I don't know if you guys happen to remember this. And it's this isn't really a good game, <laughs> which doesn't have to be. But it's a game I had a lot of fun with. Um, Radical Rex for the Super Nintendo. Jesus Christ. Developed by Beam Software, published by Activision. Do you guys remember this? I'm not familiar. It was like an incredibly poor man's fucking Mario Brothers. I've I've seen the case, but I've never played the game. Yes. Uh, It was released in 1994. Wow. On the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, <laughs> and the Sega CD. Uh, you played as Radical Rex. You were a skateboarding, fire-breathing Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, you know, I was like 18 years old, and it just kind of put together some of my favorite things at the time, which was, I don't know, dinosaurs and skateboarding? The word radical? The word radical, right. <laughs> Right. But uh, anyway, you you had to save your land and your girlfriend Rexanne. See what see what they did there? Your girlfriend's That's name good. was was Rexanne. <laughs> it is good. I know. Uh from an evil magician named Sethron. Uh Sethron. Sethron. Yes. 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 Uh you had a roar that could kill everything on the screen. You had fire breath and you had a bubble spray which you could use while you were underwater. To make air, uh, like I do? said, it was, it's, it, yeah, it kind of like captured enemies in them. Okay, and made them float away. Um, this was not a good game, but I think why I love this game so much is because, well, I can tell you why I love this game so much. Uh, my brother and I have n- nine years between us, and uh, this was the first game that, because I was eighteen, he was, uh, you know. Nine, 18 minus 9 is 9. He was 9. <laughs> it's late. I can't do fucking math. Um, and uh, this was kind of one of the first games that we ever sat down and really played together. Because um, he was kind of getting to that age where his dexterity was meeting up with his interests. So he could like push the buttons and jump and do what he was supposed to do instead of just, you know, uh, swinging the the fucking controller around and smashing buttons uh so him and i spent a lot of time playing this and uh, i think that's probably why this is the game that this is my gone but not forgotten not because it's a good game uh as a matter of fact if i remember correctly it didn't even control that great um it was no super mario brothers 3 ryan but but those it's, fond it's got, memories it's, yeah it's got yeah. that brother factor yeah so I think you mean that bro factor. No. Bros are different than brothers, my friend. I don't think so. I don't care. Not if you're living your life right. Wrong. Hi, I'm at Podcast Ryan on Twitter. Matt is that goddamn it, Matt. And Dan is that shirtless Dan. Be sure to follow us. Uh, keep up with us. Tweet at us. Do things with us. 
it, it gets it gets dark at night, so make sure you bring your adult game mm-hmm. uh, to the Twitter, especially with Dan. He didn't wear shirts. Custer's last stand. Wow. So that's the thing. <laughs> I thought. Let, let me tell you what. During your gone but not forgotten, I don't know about that game, and I spaced out for a minute. Uh huh. But I forgot of a game. I forgot. I remembered a game that I had forgotten. <laughs> oh yeah. And I can just tell you, given a million guesses, neither one of you would get this. Uh, Totally confident. What console is it on? (laughs) It's it's, it's for computer. It's for computer. Karateka. Given one million guesses, you wouldn't get it. Okay, I'm not going to bother guessing then. How? Man, PC, that's a lot, though. This is a teaser. That's a teaser. Because uh, I'm actually don't get to go next week either. Yeah. <laughs> you got so to hang on to it for two teaser. weeks. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tease it a little more. Maybe I'll give a clue. Okay, what's the clue? No, next week, asshole. Oh, oh I thought you meant right now. Teasing <laughs> next time bitch. on the official Game Stitch podcast. Uh, <laughs> and maybe we'll I'll give a clue on Twitter and everybody can try to guess. Uh, okay. No final thought this week, but I just gave my final thought for the last hour and a half. Yeah. Now for God, now I'm thinking about this game. It's all I care about. <laughs> I forgot how to close the show. I mean, I was thinking about like, so the way the way that Dan felt about that game, it's not good, but it's like special. I got uh-huh. all that going on. You know, it's it's like Adventure Island, like. There's something awesome about a game that's special to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you don't you don't have to try to prove it like like he knows that's a bad game. <laughs> uh, but it's got but those a, memories. But if he had a Super Nintendo and it was in front of him, he'd probably play it right now, so. Oh yeah. Uh, I just think that, I man. think that's what makes this segment cool. Uh, if you have a game for us, be sure to hit us up on Twitter at game underscore stitch and use the hashtag GBNF Gone but Not Forgotten. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening to us ramble on and on about the PS4 Pro. Uh, we had a lot, of, a lot of feelings, feeling some sort of way about it, so we wanted to get it out for you guys. It would seem. Um, yeah, it would, it would seem. Be sure to rate us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, however you listen, however you take in this sweet-ass content to your ears. Um, and make sure you subscribe, follow, like, share, tell your friends, tell your buddies. Uh, we got to get this podcast out there. We got to get it in people's faces through That's their right. ear holes. You know what amazes me right now? The three of us tonight have said a number of times that this isn't that much of an upgrade over the, the regular PS4. It doesn't do that much more. It does a little bit more. And yet somehow we managed to talk about it for an hour and a fucking half. It's a lot That's like the, the PlayStation meeting was. <laughs> Only less or more serial killer. Less serial killer on our end, for sure. Less serial killer? Yeah. I don't think people pre- I don't think people appreciate how really appreciate the fact that I haven't become one. I think I don't think people appreciate how goddamn creepy my, Mark Cerny is. Yeah. No, no. He's a... He's a Google him. Google if he, that guy. If Look during, at the very first picture that comes up. Let me tell you what. If While he was talking about 4K, if he'd have slid in the line and I murdered a family last night, I wouldn't have stopped. You wouldn't have batted like, eyelash. I wouldn't have, <laughs> right. I wouldn't have thought anything about right. it. Like said, he looks like John Wayne Gacy's little brother. Yeah. Everything he said was so calculated and so, like, on purpose. Yeah. That, uh, he scares the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. And I love him. He's also the reason we got Knack. <laughs> he scares the hell so, out of me, and I love yes. him. Yes. He's also the reason you got Knack, so thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. You creepy-ass motherfucker. That's my final thought. This has been episode 192. We're coming up on four years. We're coming up on episode 200. Uh, we've, we've, we've teased some things on Twitter, so check us out over there. Uh, and thanks for making this podcast almost four. Thank you. Good night. And good night. Good night.